but there are stories of hope. Chuck Drungelo, a COVID-19 survivor, is back home this afternoon for the first time in more than two months. But he says there are days he can't even remember. He's sharing his remarkable story only with CBS 2's Jeremy Ross. After 72 days battling COVID-19, Carol Stream's Chuck Drungelo finally felt the fresh air outside Mary and Joy Rehabilitation Hospital and felt an embrace from loved ones who weren't certain any of this would be possible. At one point, we thought we were going to lose him for sure. I told God I'm not ready. I know what I, I, when I got to ICU. Smile with your eyes. <laughs> this picture alongside hospital workers that cared for him was made possible because Drungelo beat multi-system organ failure and the cocktail of antiviral medications, blood therapy, and receiving plasma from a coronavirus survivor managed to bring him back from the brink of death. Much of it he cannot remember fading into darkness. Chuck keeps asking, like, when did this happen? And At least three months of my life. Paralyzed, sedated. May is a blur. I took care of him a lot. Well, I couldn't talk at one time. He, you could see he could hear you sometimes. Katie Reimer worked with Drungelo during his most critical hours. Uh, thank you. Including 19 days on life support, his wife Diane and son always close by, but not in the way anyone wanted. I was on the ventilator after he was. I don't know what I would have done if uh, something happened to one of them. To have three of us intubated at the same time in the hospital was just unreal. <laughs> Everyone had to keep checking up on the family. How's the family doing today? We're all in the ICU together. We all almost died. A couple rooms apart. And you don't know the severity in which you're going to get this. All have since left the hospital, believing they got the virus after Drangelo returned from a grocery store around Easter. Oh, getting the hang of it. His return to better health included learning how to walk again as he was bedridden for most of his COVID-19 fight. About 17 days ago, I couldn't stand. Drangelo left this hospital to a combination of cheers and relief, and he leaves this message to anyone hoping to stay out of places like this. Wear your mask. Are you going to save somebody else? Or save yourself. Take this seriously because this is no joke. Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Drangelo's wife estimates the hospital bills for his stay at more than $2 million. They are hopeful their health insurance will cover that bill.